After she suddenly disappeared from Belarus on Monday night, video of Svetlana Tikhanovskaya emerged on Tuesday morning of her in Lithuania. I made a very difficult decision. It's a decision I made absolutely independently. Neither my friends, nor my family, nor the campaign staff, nor Sergei could influence it in any way. The presidential challenger urged Belarusians to stay safe and said she wanted to join her children abroad. Shortly after her first video appeared another, showed her reading a statement urging Belarusians to stop protesting. Opposition leader Maria Kalesnikova says Tikhanovskaya was locked in a room at the office of the election commission for three hours with two unknown men. She went there to complain about the election result, which gave a sixth term to President Alexander Lukashenko. I think she was pressured uh, because, of course, uh, when, uh, when women or men stay with uh, two persons from um, authorities, uh, without phone, without internet, without her lawyer, uh, nobody will, uh, everybody will understand what happened. The departure of the main opposition challenger happened while thousands of Belarusians protested for the second consecutive night against what they say was a fraudulent and rigged election. <laughs> Lukashenko, who's been in power for 26 years, said he won more than 80 percent of the vote. Police and soldiers responded to protests with violence and detentions. Thousands were taken and many are missing. At detention centers around the country, relatives are waiting for news. This woman says her son was detained after the election on Sunday night. She hasn't heard from him since. My heart is breaking. He had no Molotov cocktail, no stick. He wanted to see it because he wants to live in a free country, but he was beaten hard. For the past two days, we don't know where our children are. Only a few of us know their children are here. Yesterday, one man was told that his relative wasn't here. But when he shouted his name, he responded. Maria Kalesnikova, who campaigned with Tikhanovskaya and another wife of an opposition figure, is now the only woman of the so-called triumvirate still in Belarus. She condemns the government's response to the protests. It's awful. Uh, it can be used in the uh, 21st uh, century in the middle of Europe. And of course, um, my heart with Belarusian people. You're not afraid? Not. Not, of you course not. You got any threats yourself? Not. <laughs> Show must go on. <laughs> An eerie calm here on the streets of Minsk compared to previous nights. Police seems to be in control, at least for now. But after thousands of detentions and a violent government crackdown, pressure on Lukashenko to step down will only grow. Step fast in Al Jazeera, Minsk.